As of recording this, it's been exactly one month since Train Sim World 5's full release. Now, I've spoken previously on the My Thoughts video, which you can find in the description, on how I thought that releasing a 5 was wholly unnecessary from pretty much every standpoint except a business one. Here we are a couple of weeks later and honestly, I still feel the same. I'm pretty much just playing TSW 4, 3 or 2 with a couple new routes and some new features thrown in here and there. But the truth is, I enjoyed those games and I still enjoy playing TSW 5 but that was never the issue. See, just a few short days ago, we received the first major patch for the game. It was the third patch in total and it brought about a ton of mostly, in my opinion, minor patches and fixes, with some substantial ones thrown in. Now I know that in that patch we had fixes for both the core game and specifically the expert BR101, but for now I'm only focusing on the core game updates and I will touch on the expert 101 stuff a little while later. As much as it was nice to see, I remain of the opinion that we should have had that list as a day one patch for the game. As I went through the list, even though I hadn't noticed many of them myself during my time playing the game, some of the fixes left me scratching my head a little bit at how they got through to the full release. Then there were a few more, such as the BR114's brakes and the lighting at Euston, and they made me question why those weren't dealt with as soon as possible. With the size and expertise of Dovetail, I don't think it's unfair or unrealistic to expect such things. In addition to that, complaints about different bugs on different routes have been an issue for years and years, and it's something the community has been very vocal about, whether it be on the forums, on the chat during the live streams, the TSC Discord. I would have thought that at some point, Dovetail would realise that perhaps they need to man a few more men on this particular deck, so to speak. I'm not asking for perfection here. That would be unreasonable. But why did the Salzburg to Rosenheim route, for example, have a ton of floating trees that was reported on on day one that took months to resolve? With such a seemingly silly oversight by whoever was in charge of quality assuring that route, why did it then happen again on the West Coast Mainline route released just a month ago with TSW5? It's these types of events that we see over and over and over in various varieties that are the foundation of a lot of our frustration with the game. There are some of you out there who see no problem with the state of the game and its roots, who are ready to take your shields and swords and swear to protect the train sim world name with your lives. And honestly, that's fine. We all have different lenses when it comes to what makes a quote unquote perfect or at the very least enjoyable game for us. But I think I speak for the majority when I voice these concerns. While bug reports and complaints were still flooding in, Dovetail decided to do us what I assume in their eyes was a favour and bring us the mastery objectives with the livery sticker as a reward. Now, please don't get me wrong. I have no issue with things like that. Of course, the argument can be made that things like that don't really have a place in a sim, but personally, as long as it doesn't hinder my experience, I'm fine with it. The issue was that not only did they bring it into the game while the game was in a state, but the feature itself was also in a state. Even literally today, as I'm recording this on the 17th of October, I saw a complaint on the forums for the objectives still not tracking properly. Really? And going back to the Expert 101 side of things, a very fine list of added features and fixes indeed. As a matter of fact, the list for this one DLC seemed to exceed the entire list for the core game. However, there was so much that needed patching for that DLC from literally release. Issues with the most basic training modules and scenarios for example. I was only ever able to complete one of the three scenarios. Why didn't we get those sorted in at least the first week of release? But 
this is the pattern that we've unfortunately become used to and it's why it's difficult for me to expect change or talk about Train Sim World's development optimistically. So when I get asked about how I feel about the game or if I'd recommend people buying it, the answer usually isn't a bubbly excited yes. And I'll probably make a one year on video about the game where we'll recap how the game's progressed and developed and I'll probably revisit this very video but I'll call it now, I don't think much would have changed. And when I mention progress and development, I'm not just talking within the confines of the game but within the team behind it too. And look, I know there's talks of issues being caused by people much higher than just the faces we see, but at the end of the day, it's not our jobs to be concerned about those sort of matters, becoming detectives and investigating the roots of the thorns in our side when it comes to TSW, but it's our job to play and enjoy it. We're in such a niche genre that I can't imagine any of us investing our time or money into Train Sim World without having at least some interest in trains. So for my conclusion, Train Sim World 5 is still the go-to train sim that a lot of us spend so much of our valuable time on. Does it have anything that significantly differentiates it from its younger siblings? No, not yet at least. Like many of you, my frustration comes from simply wanting the Train Sim World title to be so much more. I wish it could be adored the same way SES's offerings in Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator are. We do have alternatives, but none of them are TSW. With all its flaws, no other train sim has the charm that it has, and I can only cling onto the tiny fragment of hope somewhere deep within me that it will grow and be more fruitful than we ever imagined. And that's really it for me for my one month recap. How do you guys feel about the game so far though, within itself and also as part of a series? Let me know down below and let's have a conversation. Thank you very much for spending your time here with me. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Stay safe and until next time, peace out.